musical center of the universe, to Toddy, California, it's Zone TV. With tonight's guests, original rock group Stereo Flyers, North Bay ska band Tin Circus, and rock and roll art publishers Acid Test. Now, from Zone Music in Katati, here's your host, Frank Hayhurst. Welcome to Zone TV. Hey, you get through the holidays okay? I did too, sort of. Whoa, what was all that about? Anyway, we've got a whole new year ahead of us. Great new music. Here's a great band starting off our show, Stereo Flyers. Zone Music in Katati. Look at all these guitars. Look at all these people. And look at all these Korg keyboards. You gotta hear these great sounding synthesizers. And here's Tim Haggerty playing the new amazing Korg Trinity Music Workstation. Hi Frank. We've got PAs, microphones, keyboards, computer software. But you better get down here before these people buy everything. Oh, did I mention this was all at Zone Music in Katati? T-shirts. 
They've got t-shirts. They've got a CD. And this CD is available at the Last Record Store, Backdoor Records and CD and Tape in Katati, the Incredible Record Store in Sebastopol, and Bedrock Records in San Rafael. Hey, this is a very happening CD. You should check these guys out. This is really good. They've got a website, Interpol Online. Can you put that up on the screen so that the web guys can see that? While they're writing it down, let's listen to some more Stereo Flyers. <laughs> I stand alone and look and smile If you bank a dollar I won't stand here a while If I'm a mile away Well I'm happy just to be your slave Kill yourself a minute to buy hell and turn and spin Like the most Lisa, who sits and smiles there all day. If I'm a mile away, well, I'm happy just to be your slave. Cause I'm happy just to be your slave. Yes, I'm happy just to be your slave. Well, I'm happy just to be him. Won't you come with me? I'm happy. Just to be your slave Break your minute from the road I will be turning spin Like the Mona Lisa Who if I only wear a grin Five a mile away I'm happy just to be your slave Cause I'm just to be your slave Yes, I'm happy just to be your slave Oh no, I'm happy just to be him Won't you come with me? I'm happy just to be your slave I take a look around Everyone's a mess I love to a doctor until I'm another damn If I'm a mile away I'm happy just to be your slave I'm happy just to be your slave Oh no, I'm happy just to be him Won't you come with me? I'm happy just to be your slave The world is what you say him Be good for good to say it I'm happy, 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 happy Only what you did We've been listening to Stereo Flyer, okay? Ooh, we got a rowdy group here, but it is that kind of a band. Will. Sir. What? <laughs> Can you imagine a guy like him calling a guy like me, sir? <laughs> Wait, hey, let's introduce everybody in the band. Of course, you're Will. And you're the original, oh, you were like one of the founding members of Mason Lane, you and Joe. Yes, this no, is that's, Joe? That's, that, yes, I'm Joe, but that is technically incorrect. I was the last member to join. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Okay. <laughs> Ethan on drums, Ethan Kerr. Good Hi. job on drums, great job. Thank you. Thumping, resonant job. Young and dumb. Hey, this is Monroe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get that one. <laughs> let, me have, let me have that CD. Let me have this thing. 
Well, so these guys did a CD release party. Here's the CD. It's called Blast, and it is a blast. They did a CD release party at the end of the beginning, and there were like people standing all over Katati trying to get into this place. That must be kind of cool to have a more than a standing room only crowd to have a completely packed street. It was fun. Oh. It was. We enjoyed it. Did you have fun, Joe, or well, was did it bother you? <laughs> 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 He's very touched. <laughs> Joe's all choked up. <laughs> it's nice having all these people actually like you. Yeah, it's nice to be liked once in a while. Right. But we were touched, that's for sure. Yeah, you guys are semi-touched. So in the, what's in the future for you guys? You're, going, you're, you're signed to a German label. You're going to go to Germany. Yeah, we're going to um, Germany in February, uh, February 2nd. We head on to Cologne, and, uh, and we'll be coming back on March 3rd, but we'll be in Europe for a month. Well, the way you guys sweat when you play, a little cologne is probably in order. Especially for Nice. NorCal Music Coalition. Did you get one of these? Here. Here, take a look at this. What we got here is we got a big group of Northern California music retailers that are going to revolutionize the way music is handled, the way the music business is run. The group is Bronstein's, Bananas at Large, Leo's, Gelb, Haight-Ashbury Music, of course Zone Music, the whole Spitzer music change, and audio images. What we're doing is that we've pooled our resources, we're buying collectively to bring you better prices. But instead of that mega store let down experience where everyone sort of treats you like you're a cow or something and tries to herd you into buying something, we really care. We're really the kind of retailers that are really engaged in what we're doing. We love being in the music business. We're small shops, kind of, but we're really into it. Hey, check this out. The latest issue of BAM. We're doing full page ads now. This is Audix Mics. These are really, really excellent microphones, especially their drum mics. Here's new technology that we're bringing you as a group. You can come in and demo this stuff. This is XWire. This is digital wireless systems. This is the kind of stuff that we're involved in, and our commitment to you is better prices, high quality service, really knowledgeable salespeople. This is the NorCal Music Coalition. We're going to change everything. Speaking of changing everything, it's a new year, and we got new groups on the horizon. This is a, a really young group playing ska that we just wanted to bring to you because they're really happening. This is Tin Circus. One, two, three, huh?
So don't you ask me for a day no more. I'll buy you dinner and then. But I refuse to, so put your addiction. Gotta buy my. We're hanging out with Tin Circus, and I'll spring the question, why ska? Okay. Okay is the answer. Right? <laughs> well, it's more than okay. You guys are fabulous, but why'd you pick ska? What was the attraction of ska for the band? Uh, it's just fun, danceable music, you know, and we really enjoy, you know, feeding off the audience's energy. Yeah. And you guys have crowds of dancers whenever you play? Oh, yes. Yeah, we've been hearing great things. So this is Judah. Hey, Judah, introduce the guys in the band. All right, well, on guitar over there, we got Scott Miller. Yeah, Scott. Vicious, stinging guitar. <laughs> On alto sax, we got Robin Kraft. What's the with the long hair, Robin? What's the deal? Um, I'm protesting um, the Headwaters Forest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> on tenor sax, we got Brian Hess. And on baritone sax, we have Matthew Christopher Cousins. And the drummer, Justin Kendall. Right here. Happening drummer. <laughs> yeah, actually happened. Who does the arrangements? How do these horn arrangements happen? Collaboration with all the bands. Judah writes most of the horn lines and people just sort of change them when they want to. So were you trained on a uh, wind instrument as well? Not no. at all. I noticed this thing uh, doesn't have frets. It looks like it does, but you're doing the whole thing fretless. Mm -hmm. right. Don't fret with Tin Circus. So you thought that you could take the Sonoma County Independent. I'm hanging out with Stacy and Nancy. Hey guys. Hi. So the real astrology, that's your that's the first place you turn to. Well actually I'm in romance right now. Oh, romance. <laughs> I love reading the personal when yeah. you're independent. Yeah. This is the best arts and entertainment coverage of any paper, any of these local kind of papers. Um, is you know, Incredible Records, Jonathan from Incredible Records. Incredible Records is now open, apparently, after what, nine months or something? So it's just like having a child for him. He used to have a shop in Toronto, and he carries all the old records and oh. CDs and tapes and posters and memorabilia yeah. and all stuff, like a lot of Janice stuff, a lot of all mm -hmm. the rock stuff. Look, check out this book. Can you look at this thing? It's called The Art of the Fillmore. This is the classic era of rock posters. Check out the names of the, the poster artists here, Wes Wilson and Bonnie McLean. Okay. Stanley Mouse and Rick Griffin. Kelly. Yeah, David Bird, I know his well, work. Half these people live in Sonoma County, and a lot of them live in Petaluma. 
Wow. In fact, Randy Tootin said he was thinking of moving up from the city because all the psychedelic poster artists have moved to Sonoma County, and particularly Petaluma. Wow, well, let's look at some yeah. of these posters. Boy, these are beautiful. Aren't they great? I used to collect this stuff. Yeah. Wow. The symbols are very rich. The artwork is so evocative. Wow, look at that. And I love finding the story within the stories. The posters have so many realities going on. And you've talked to all the artists. Right. What's amazing to me is that these, to think of these as actually being put up all over the streets because we used I... to ride around on his motorcycle with them stuffed into bags and then staple, and staple them, them all over the town. So it's such a beautiful art to be free. I used to follow him around and take them down and collect yeah, I mean, well, at least did. one. Yeah. I mean, I have, I have a lot of these, but to be able to have them again, to have them this beautifully preserved in this format, this is great. Where did you guys find all these originals? People have been collecting them and keeping them. Um, Psychedelic Solution had a lot. Bill Graham Presents Archive uh, has all the posters. Oh, yeah. They've been archived. Bill everywhere. Graham, so that's a real resource. Mm -hmm. It's a great resource. He knew what he was doing very early on. He knew that this was material to be preserved. I remember that one with the cat. I love that. And the eagle. And without these posters, nobody would really have any uh, memory of the time period, who played what date, who was on the bill. The posters are the only um, concrete evidence of most of it happening. Yeah, some of it, there were board mixes taken on some of it, but you're right, the era went by so fast that this mm -hmm. is the history. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. So that when people are trying to put together uh, chronicles of performing dates, they always come back to the posters. Here it is, this is the book, you guys have got to have it. It's called The Art of the Fillmore, and it's at Copperfield Books. Right. right? Now some of these shows that I remember, we did a show with uh, the Bronze Hog, my band, did a show with Country Joe and the Fish, and they turned out to be very nice people. They hung out with us, oh, and they great. invited us to come to their dressing rooms. Oh, Janis Joplin, look at that book. This is another one of your guys' books, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Wow, look at her. First of all, we love her, we adore this woman. What a great singer, I still listen to her stuff. Yeah, many times cry too. Yeah. Um, we opened the show for them one night, or we were on the bill opening the show, and we went back to tell her how much we liked her and how cool we thought she was. And she was, she looked basically like a janitor. She looked like a washerwoman. She was just kind of hanging out, and she was drinking, and she had been drinking for some time. And somebody came to the door and said, you're on in three minutes. And she pulled off her sweatshirt, and there we were. Now we're young guys, we're like 17, 18 years old, and we're looking at Janis Joplin's boobs. <laughs> 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 We really like your music too, you know. I mean, besides those, your music's also very good, and the band's really good too. But she also had this cackle when she laughed. I mean, she was a funny, yeah, she was a funny fun. girl. She had this great laugh, and we were very impressed by her music. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Acid Test Productions, Nancy. So you guys are in Petaluma, and you have not only the Art of the Fillmore and the Janis Joplin. You've got a whole lot of stuff. Well, let me just show this to you. You guys can just sort of see that there's a whole catalog of things, which can be reached two ways. You guys can be reached at 1-800-983-3352. We'll say that number one more time before we're, before we're done talking. And all but, of our books are at Copperfields as well. Okay. And our okay. calendar. So the Doris calendar. book, and you have right. a calendar? God, we've got to have that. And Get Out of Town is a great novel about a deadhead on the road. Dead Days, of dead course. Days. Now, how much of Dead Days do you remember? Because your dad, of course. Bill Kreutzmann. Right. One of the original drummers. Right. Yep. Right. Well, it's been lovely having you guys here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for bringing those beautiful posters. Thanks. And thanks for joining us on the show, and we're going to check out tonight. Thanks for watching Zone TV. Here's a little bit more special treat, Stereo Flyers. Do you remember the wild thing? Would you remember? It's always your smile, things that burst you up into flames. So now I'm spinning your wheels of a trouble life. In fact, have you lost your mind? Have you fought your brain? I know we're not the same again.